All right. So, like Cam says, we're back, but Magic Online says we're not. And the uh, the video cam's not working. So but right now, basically, we have bad reviews for both Light Cam and Magic Online. We're gonna keep the same deck that we just trounced our opponent with. So far, we're undefeated with our Jeskai deck that has never worked so correctly yet. Are we gonna mulligan? No, we're not. We're gonna keep because we've got Herald plus a Plains in hand. I really like this opening hand. As as we mentioned, we're gonna play Herald first turn. Ah, and my girlfriend was kind enough to bring me both another Sam Adams and another Delirium Tremens. Second turn, we've got nothing to do, so we are going to play the Crag, and we've got a choice to trade the Herald for the Bonkin. Bonkin is one of the best commons in the game, in, in the format, rather. But we're going to keep the Herald, I guess, for now. So what does that mean for him? It means he's, he, can, he has to make the choice between playing a Morph and outlasting his Bonkin. And honestly, I don't know which is going to be better for him at this point. Next turn, we can outlast and create a creature. Or we can play a Morph. Or a, a Wind Scout. we got a lot of options next turn. It's going to depend on what we draw. I wish the webcam was, uh, was on so you could see how much I'm drinking right now. Yep, he's going to outlast, which makes his a 3-2. We're going to play an Island, which is for the plan anyway. And I think we're going to go with... Uh, Wind Scout swing for one because I find that the best uh, the best mo in this format is to em drop your hand as quick as possible, especially if it involves ev evasion and flying. Brave the sands. I think that we automatic ugh molting snakeskin. That is such a bad drop for us. All right. Brave the Sands is such a bad card, but my opponent insisted on playing it. So what are we going to do? We are going to attack with Wind Scout into War Shrieker, and then I think we're going to drop a Morph. Or we could drop into War Shrieker and then Outlast. Either one are options at this point. I think we're going to drop into War Shrieker and then Outlast. This way we've got a blocker for his first strike, Vigilance 5-2 that he's got on turn 4. Ugh. And this, this really, right here, exemplifies how powerful War Shrieker is. is it, it really allows you to up your tempo game whether it has to do with dropping a morph, which is what most people do, or just really giving you mana. So now we've created a blocker for basically free. We've created a 3-3, and we've given plus one, plus one to our Herald. I really like this position that we're in right now. Especially since our opponent has no green mana. Him swinging with the Bonkin really just makes us sack our warrior, which we're okay with. Because we're not going to take five all day for no reason. We're just not. But what we will do... Wow. This is a... Force Away right here is, is a fantastically powerful card. I think what we're going to do at this point is we're going to bounce his Bonkin. The worst he could do is uh, Feet of Resistance, which I don't think he'd do. And then we're going to swing with uh, Wind Scout 
War Shrieker, and then Outlast our Herald. We're holding back the flock, we're holding back the Scion. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Get rid of get rid of the uh, get rid of the enchantment. Get rid of the first strike. Swing for damage, or you know what we could do? We could swing for two extra damage and then not outlast, and then drop a morph. That's what we're gonna do, actually. I mean, total, total, uh, total flip of uh, flip of the fates, whatever you want to call it. All of our, all of our creatures can survive his morphs damage. Unless it's the uh, the death touch morph. Oh man, I'm really not happy with the way that this is running right now. I'm really worried about lag. We're going to stop hitting buttons for a second. So he's going to choose to take eight. Like a bitch. And then second main, we're going to drop a morph. It's a crap morph, but he doesn't know that. I'm happy with our position right now, especially because I think that his morph requires either green or all three colors. All right, well, here he goes with the Salt Road Patrol again, which I am really going to vouch for is a fantastic card to muck up the ground game. It really is. What's our morph? Our morph is Monastery Flock. Huh. I'm actually going to swing with the Wind Scout and the War Shrieker in the hopes that he double blocks the War Shrieker, and then we get to we get. To, I, I will trade the War Shrieker for either the Bondkin or the Morph at this point. And then we're going to decide whether we play Scion or if we outlast after he just he makes his decision. Nope, we don't want to do that. Yeah, he made he made the right block there. Now, I think at this point we're actually going to play the Scion. Instead of creating a creature for no reason, uh, it leaves us with no blue mana open to morph the uh, the monastery flock if we want to. But at that, uh, but at the same time, it le we are gonna have three blue to take down his soul road patrol next turn if we want to, which is really the threat that I want to put on the board. Not that it matters because he tapped it. Uh, next turn might be this guy's last turn because of that. Especially because I just drew burn away. Wow. I, 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 yes, I think so. I think that's game right there. And I think that's going to be matches as well. So we might be going to the finals. Yep, we are. We are going to the finals right there at the 30 minute mark eating that guy alive. I'm still trying to figure out my webcam issue, so I will be right back. <laughs> 